Hello, my sweet friend, and welcome back to Breath, your 30-day yoga journey. It's day 27. Heel. Hop into something extra comfy, and let's get started. Come on down to the ground. You can lay your blanket out for extra cozy vibes or you can, of course, sit up on one or if you were smart, you brought two to class today. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Align your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. And then we'll gently bring the left hand to the heart center, the chest, and the right hand to the belly. Bow your head. Drop the chin to the chest. Close your eyes and start to notice your breath. So even though we have the head in a bow, see if you can draw the shoulder blades together and still keep lifted through the heart here. So if you're collapsed here, see if you can grow long through the torso. Take a second here, just get quiet, and yeah, start to notice your breath. Each time we show up is a new day, and, and some days it's all seemingly in the flow, right? It's all aligned, and then some days it feels darker, right? And our practice allows us this opportunity to really pay attention and notice and almost prepare for the spills and the dark moments. So while we cannot prevent them, nor maybe should we, right? It's part of life, it's part of our existence. And the tools of our practice and this awareness of breath and our relationship to ourself can really help prepare us for important moments in our journey where healing occurs or where healing is possible. So if any of that resonates with you, wonderful. If not, it's all good. You just have a nice, stretchy, restorative healing practice for your body. You've been working hard. I can't tell you how heroic and beautiful I think it is for you to show up like this and to go on this journey. It's, it's pretty incredible and it's not easy. So, beautiful work. Even if you feel like you haven't done beautiful work, I promise you if you're showing up, that is beautiful. To me. So hopefully by now you've softened any areas that feel tight or clenched by just bringing awareness to them, dropping the shoulders, making sure you're not holding in the toes, the jaw. Take one more sweet inhale in and a long exhale out. And slowly lift the head, chin parallel, bring the hands to the knees, we're gonna do an inhale for four, exhale for four, but we actually are gonna, I want you to know about the box breath if you don't already know. So you can imagine the even sides of a square or a box. So we inhale for four, exhale for four, inhale for four, exhale for four. Here we go, inhaling in, exhaling out completely and inhaling to begin the ratio. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, 
two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, relax your shoulders, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one. A little slower, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, and one. Allow your breath to return to a natural rhythm here. Just allowing. And then you can open your eyes here if they were closed. We're gonna send the right leg out long. Just notice how you feel here. We're gonna hug the left heel in. Inhale, reach the fingertips up and overhead and exhale, melting the heart forward. Janu Sursasan, head to knee pose or as I've kind of dubbed, head toward the knee pose. Pull your right hip crease back. Lengthen the torso, bend your knee generously and in time you can work to straighten it. Relax the weight of the head down and listen to the sound of your breath and you can continue to play with that four count. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for four. Slowly unravel, bring it back up. Left leg is gonna stay where it is. Right knee is gonna bend, and then we're gonna take the right foot back, bring the inner knee, inner right knee, excuse me, Benji, to the ground. So we have this external rotation in the left hip, internal rotation in the right hip. We're lifting up through the sideways and we're coming into, I call this, it's, I need to come up with a better name, but it's cheerleader pose. Or this reminds me of like volleyball picture pose. Breathing deep, sitting up tall. So for a lot of people, this can be challenging. If, it, if you find that you're quite comfortable here, work on your pelvic floor lift. So lift up from the pelvic floor. Draw the shoulders down. Make sure you're not just collapsing, right? Find that mula bandha. Good, then everyone, left fingertips behind, right fingertips to the top of the left thigh. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale to twist, nice and easy, very mindful here. And then release, just gentle counter twist to the right, to the other side. Good, and then come back to center. We'll bring the right heel in. And send the left leg out. We have to work around the pets, right? Here we go, inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, moving into your head toward the knee pose. Maybe grabbing the outer edge of the foot this time. Everyone allowing the weight of the head to relax down. And then when you get there, get quiet and maybe practice that box breath here. Inhaling for four, exhaling for four. And slowly releasing that. And coming up, lifting the left knee, bringing that left foot back, inner knee to the ground. And work to try to find length through the sideways here. So now internal rotation of the left hip, external of the right. 
Lifting up through the armpit chest. If you feel collapsed, take your thumbs to the armpit. It's, this is a good adjustment, self-adjustment. And lift yourself up. And then stay there as you relax the arms down. Again, if you're pretty good here in both hips, maybe work on Mula Bandha, lifting from that pelvic floor. And when you're ready, right fingertips come behind, left hand to the right knee, inhale to get really tall. And exhale to journey into the twist, nice and easy. Slowly release, move nice and slow, little counter stretch, nice and easy. Beautiful, then slowly come back to center. We're gonna walk the hands behind us. Feet come to the earth, knees up towards the sky. Walk the hands behind you. Allow the knees to fall to the left here. Then we're gonna cross the left ankle over the right. You can stay up on your hands or option to come on down to the elbows. And if you came onto the elbow, slowly press back up, unravel, windshield wiper to the opposite side. Right ankle crosses on top of the left thigh. And option to come onto the elbows. If you came onto the elbows, slowly come back up. Send the legs out in front, Dandasana. So find this lift in the chest, ground down through the hips, fingertips or palms come to the ground. We flex through the toes, inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, and go ahead and exhale out through the lips or the mouth. Inhale in, exhale out. Now seal the lips and slowly make your way onto your back. When you arrive there, hug the knees up to the chest and we're gonna be here for a couple breaths. Give yourself a hug and really feel this hug, this embrace if you can, relax your shoulders. And take a second here to chill out and just listen to your breath. You can practice the box breath as a great technique. Four, four, four and four, tracing the square is really great when you're feeling anxious. You know, the breath is such a healing tool. And more so when I befriended this relationship, when I started to like get really curious about my relationship with my breath, things really shifted for me. So you don't have to do anything magical here. Just allow, allow yourself to explore the breath, whether it's just simply listening to the natural rhythm and flow right here or maybe practicing that box breath. And keep holding on to your right knee as you send your left leg out. And we're gonna twist, send the right knee over towards the left. Open up through the right arm. Keep that awareness of your beautiful breath. And then slowly come back to center and switch. Extend the right leg out, hug the left knee in. You're gonna take your twist to the other side. Open up through your left arm. Listen to your breath. And when you're ready, gently melt it back to center. Extend both legs out. I'm negotiating my space with Benji here, but extend both legs out. And arms up and overhead, big full body stretch. Inhale, spread the fingers, spread the toes. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am worthy. And then exhale, release everything. Hands come down, toes relax, fingers soften. And we come into Shavasana. 
a flash of surrender. See how fast you can give in, let go, be still. Close your eyes and allow your body to get nice and heavy. Toes softening, feet, ankles getting heavy. Breathe easy as you get heavy through the legs, the calves, the shins, the knees, the quads, the hamstrings and the hips. Relax through the pelvis and the glutes. Soften through the belly, the waistline, the torso. The ribs and the chest relaxing, shoulders getting heavy. Softening and relaxing through the upper arms, the forearms, the wrists, the hands, and the fingertips soft. Take a moment to swallow here and then relax the tongue and the mouth softening through, the lips, the jaw, the throat, the neck. Now softening through the skin of the face, allowing the weight of the head, the skull to get really heavy here. Letting everything go. And then as if you are moving through water, so, so slow as if this movement was medicine, bending the right knee, bringing the right foot up so slow. You can just allow the sound of my voice to guide you. Feel your right foot on the ground. Then bend the left knee so slow, lift it up. Feel your left foot on the ground. Then we're gonna turn onto one side, any side, so shift your hips over. Turn onto one side, coming into fetal position, and really hug your knees up and towards your chest. You can use your bottom arm as a pillow. And take a final breath here in this fetal position. The power of the breath. When you're ready, press into one hand and then the other. Come all the way back up to a nice, comfortable seat. Thank you, Benji, my darling. And bring the hands together at the heart. Thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I hope that this practice has served you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Inhale in. And exhale to whisper and bow the head. Namaste.